Greetings everyone, JetStrike325 here, and today, what I got for you today is, before the main event, I'll show you what I've got, what I lied. We got Beyblade X, Hasbro products, they just arrived, which I'm very happy they do. Not only I just got the stadium. I got the wind-up launcher. Not wind-up. It is the main winder. It's basically this. Well, packaged by itself. I got Soy Phoenix. I got the double pad chain incendio with Wizard Arrow. I got Scythe Incendio. Helm Knight. And I got, finally, not finally, but the final one for right now, is Wizard Arrow. This is my Hasbro Beyblade X haul. I, the rest of them are on their way, but they, uh, you know, th th some of them were out of stock when I got some of them. But, this is the ones I managed to get. So, with that out of the way, these will be reviewed. And later in the month, Favorite X officially re released in this month of June, which is yesterday, which I'm very happy that it did. The stadium is the first one to do, be revealed for the Hasbro one, so be on the lookout for that. All right, main feature of, for today. The Beyblade X UX. Five Shadow Shadow Shinobi's random select. This is our three one again. Here we got this and this. So, who owns this bay? Queen Manju, King's grandmother from Beyblade X manga and anime. I'm showing her picture because there's no images on the side of the box. Just like the... Just like this one doesn't have the owner on the back of this box either. Like I mentioned before from my last review with the Landed Booster Volume 3. This is a triple boost, not triple booster bar random select. It's like Sphinx Cowl and it's like Tail Viper. Which is some here. More to them later. But first, let's move. Let's go f do the the shadow one first. Yeah, look at this. It's so cool. The oh wait, the main point for the uh, shadow shinobi one. It's parts. It's very good, slightly. We got 180, and we got a new part, Metal Needle. And what you give with this is the main one, which I mentioned before. I'll call it the dark version and the light version. So the dark version has 960, which is good, low flat. The light one, has 370 gear point. Yeah, I love gear point. Thank you for this booster. Taco Tommy, so uh, let's, let's do the dog one first. The black variant of uh, Shadow Shinobi. I do like this one. It's a UX UX layer, like Wizard, uh, Wizard God, Drawn Buster, and Hell's Hammer. The center of it does not move. It has cl clear plastic for the hooks for the launcher clip to hold. And the center doesn't move. It is, this is a defense type. This is very weird for defense. Normally with a three blade pattern, it's mostly for an attack type. But the, 
I kind of like the innovation of these a little bit. So, that's the layer. What, also with the layer, we got the 960 la ratchet. Highly coveted. Came with a Phoenix wing, which has 960, which is a very good ratchet. Plus, it has gear flats. It was coveted. So, next piece is low flat. This is the. We, we, we will never get a high flat. No, it's just low flat. Came with Keel Shark or Shark Edge. First one to have this piece. Looks pretty good. I can, it's in the mid. Somewhere in the middle where I use this. So let's combine this one. There you go. All assembled. Let's go with the light one. Mostly the yellow one. Like before, this is a cool looking one. It has gold in the middle. The, the gold... On camera it looks different, but in real life, it's lightly, it's gold, L uh, just a bit. Doesn't move in the middle. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. We got 370, the same ratchet as a uh, Hell's Hammer, which I gotta say, three is better, five and nine, nine are better for, in terms of ratchets the 70 has the slopes the 60 has is fleshed in it's really flush and you really can't see it and the 80 is has the skirt on it has that you could tell the difference from that from the ratchets here we got gear point which came from unicorn sting first one to use it it is pretty good it's better than regular point. Slightly, but point is a little bit better. I use both of variants of this. If it was a custom, I would be using that. Now let's put this together. Here we go. There's the light version. Last but not least, we got the main version of Shadow Shinobi. Let's take this apart. We got, it has blue, grip it, has grip, the plastic is blue on this one, and it's purple. Pretty cool. Not the main version of this, but the, what makes me have this, first of all, Hasbro has Shinobi knife. This is Shinobi knife. The Hasbro variation. And we got the Shadow Shinobi, which Takotomi has. This came first a little bit, then it turned into this. That's uh, that's pretty weird for that. Not weird, but it's not Hasbro exclusive anymore. Since Takotomi is re-releasing re this, but not in this color, but it comes with the Switch game, which comes out later. Okay, uh, yeah, let's do nine, 180. It has the skirt, it has the one. The first of the one ratchet came from Drawn Buster, which is in the color blue. The last bit, it, the bit part is Metal Needle, which we got the Needle family. We got regular Needle from Helm Knight. Or Night Shield. Then we get. Let's see. Let me find it. Let me see. What I could, oh, yeah. Here it is. We got Night Lance, which has high needle. Last bit. Oh, wait. I got. Also, I forgot to not to mention. We got Sphinx Cow. And it has Gear Needle. The, the latest one, now we got Metal Needle. 
very reminiscent to in Metal Flight Boone Phoenix's uh Beyblade that has metal spike in it. So let's put this together. I'm pretty aware on how damage worthy this thing is to a stadium, so I'll be careful with it. That being said, we'll finally get to the testings. There you go, three, two, one, let it It spins pretty well. Next up is the light one. It spins pretty well. And finally, we got this one. Finally done with those. Now, that being said, we get the verse off the other random select phase. That includes with Sphinx Cow and Tail Viper, which are going to be the main events with uh, Shadow Shinobi. All right, but now let's do Tail Viper and the Shadow Shinobi. Three to one letter rip. Three to one letter rip. It has some high impact. Looking for the weak point. Making it spin out. And it does. Now we got the now the shadow one, shadow shinobi, who's a sphinx cow. Uh, three to one letter. Three to one letter. That was quick. One hit. And the wind goes to the sphinx cow. N next one is the luck. Yeah, but Tail Viper. And we got the Light Shadow Shinobi. So here we go. Three, two, one, let it rip. Three, two, one, let it rip. So, very high damage. There we go. And. Can it win by stamina? Yeah, it did win. That's good. Next is the light one versus the white sphinx cow. Here we go. Three, two, one, let it rip. Three, two, one, let it rip. It's going wild. Very wild. And done. The light one wins. Final battle or with this. This is it. Alright, tell you, oh, Viper, here we go. Okay. That is done. Final opponent is Sphinx Cow. Three, two, one, let it. Oh, it got out of the pocket. What do I think about... Alright. Before this battle ends, what do I think about this? Uh, yeah, you should get this. You should get it. Yeah, and it won. I recommend buying this. All the bays are good, good for pieces, and good for the collection. I'll see you guys on the next review when I open up the Babylon X Stadium.